Charles Warren here, AKA the handsome home buyer, and we are making history right now. I am outside what was the concept for the demo for the first legally 3D printed house in the United States of America. That's right. This is the concept. They built this so that the building departments and municipalities could come out, sign off on it, and now we just got the first permit in hand to build in Riverhead, Long Island, New York, which is the hardest place, I would say, to get anything done in the country. What we're having right now is an open house to showcase the technology. We have a line of people down the block. It's pandemonium. We're expecting over 400 people to this open house, and it just got put together about a week and a half ago. We're gonna walk through the property, show you exactly what they, what they did, how they do it. We're gonna to speak to the team to give a little backstory first. This is less about reinventing construction. This is less about housing. This is about what is possible. So how this essentially came together originally is, one of the gentlemen, the CEO and co-founder, the inventor of SQ4D and this new technology, wanted to build a house. He had an issue with a local municipality, as most of us do. Like I said, very difficult to get things done in Long Island, New York. And he went home and he said to himself, you know what, I don't need people. I'm gonna build a house with a robot. As a matter of fact, that's what he said in the building department. He said, you know what, I'm coming back with a robot, you're gonna to talk to the robot, and the robot is gonna build the house. He went home, he sat down, and that's what he created. So let's go inside, we're gonna check it out, we're gonna walk through, we're gonna show you how the layout is. Right now we have a 1,900 square foot, three bedroom, one bath ranch with a beautiful open layout. This is green technology, and the next steps and the next versions are gonna absolutely blow your mind. This is version number one, the next version is going to do two-story homes. The third version is going to do skyscrapers and superstructures and be able to climb itself. And ultimately, version four is going to do roads and infrastructure. So this is a super exciting time. I'm really happy and honored to be here, be a part of it, and be able to witness it. And I want you guys to come in with me. We'll take a little tour. Welcome to the first legally permitted 3D printed house in the country. Come inside, we're gonna take a little tour, we're gonna show you the layout, the finishes, the technology, how it works, and then we're gonna grab the COO of operations. We're gonna take us through the details of how they're built, electric, plumbing, et cetera, and the structure of it, and how it's gonna save time and money. Stephen King, the realtor. First legally 3D printed house in the country. How do you feel, sir? Amazing, super, super, super. super. Done an unbelievable job, promoted the hell out of this thing. We have a line of people, we're expecting over 400 people today. What's the feedback? What have people been saying? Everybody's basically shocked and asking me a ton of questions about how it works and it's just, they realize it's the future and it looks like the future. I mean, look at this thing, it's unbelievable. As you can see, three bedroom, one bathroom ranch. I'm gonna give you a quick tour through it. This is the perfect, perfect, perfect first time home buyer house. These can be made at any size, so they can be made as two bedroom houses, and the sky is the limit. We have uh, opportunity to make 2,000, 2,500, 3,000, 3,500, and like I said, the second generation is gonna climb itself and do two stories, so the possibilities are endless. But for the purposes here, we have beautiful open layout. Obviously, you have the kitchen in the back into the dining area. This is pretty much what every first time home buyer wants on Long Island at a price point that is absolutely bananas. Right now, the median sales price across Long Island is roughly $550,000, $575,000. This property is listed for an unbelievably low price of only $299,000. The crazy thing is they were able to purchase the property, the land itself, for only $150,000. And believe it or not, with the technology at two ninety nine. dollars there is profit in that deal. So this is a massive opportunity for developers across the nation, affordable housing providers, basically anything that is currently made out of concrete can be printed easier, quicker, and faster, in addition to other things that other building structures or things that are made out of wood or anything else that could be replaced in concrete, which is obviously a more durable and cheaper way of doing it, can now be 3D printed. So like I said, you walk through here, you have the kitchen, nice open layout, living space. Since the, um, the concrete itself is load bearing, you don't need to have su supports in here. You don't need those typical load bearing walls, which is giving you that wide open layout that everybody wants today. You have the, uh, the sliding doors. You have a ton of natural light. 
Let's go into the garage. We can show you exactly what this looks like in its raw form. So essentially this is a 3D printer. I'm gonna put some footage of the 3D printer working so you guys get an idea about how it comes together and in future episodes, so please subscribe. We're gonna actually be documenting the actual build out in Riverhead step by step so you can see how the printing technology works, how the plumbing is implemented, how the electrics implemented, how the structural, how the roof truss system goes on, how everything ties together in record time to give you a 3D printed house. So as you can see here, it is exactly like a 3D printer. So it starts out and in only 40 print hours, it prints on top of each other, layer by layer, layer by layer. Now they have a unique technology that has a, uh, a tip that swivels as it turns. So a lot of other uh, test printers that you've seen out there is a tremendous amount of waste that you don't get with this product and they can also they only go in circles right whereas this particular design can make right angles which is an absolute game changer so it layers right on top of each other if you notice it's right there right on top of each other there's very minimal to no waste and that also increased the strength they are giving a 50 year warranty on this product which is unheard of typical new construction you get one year SQ4D on their houses is giving a 50 year warranty. So this is the, um, the build in its raw form. Let's go outside, I can show you the different finishes of how you can finish it and then give you additional options as well. If you notice here, it starts out as that 3D printed layered option. You come in here with a sponge, they go over it and they make a nice stucco finish. They're working on options where you can actually imprint different patterns in the walls. On top of that, you can actually go right into this. You can put farting strips if you like the sheetrock look. In addition, wood, rocks, termite damage, and beyond, this does not. This can flood, nothing happens. There's no rot, there's no nothing. It's essentially hurricane proof. This is the future of home construction. So those are your different options, and obviously the technology is progressing every single day. Let's take a walk through the rest of the house so you can see the flow. You're gonna find out that it is a, a traditional ranch structure just like anything else, just built way, way, way better at a fraction of the cost. So we're here in the master bedroom. As you can see, moldings, closets, everything very similar. We have the master bath off there big windows, tons of natural light. The floors, the sky is the limit. They do have the ability to put radiant floors in. These are polished concrete floors right now. It has a, uh, a unique finish on it, an epoxy finish. You could do something like this. You could put wood, you could put vinyl, you could put laminate. You can do absolutely anything. We've been getting a bunch of questions about just in general, if you wanna move things, you could essentially cinch, the, the structure is a, a roof truss system that sits on the outside. If you wanna remove individual walls, hammer, saw, if you want to drill holes, you can, but typically everything is set up as per the first time home buyer's desires. So you'll have closets in there with racks. You'll have outlets to code every six feet. It is designed perfectly, but again, things can be changed, things can be customized. As a matter of fact, SQ4D has a virtual system where you put the virtual goggles on and you can walk through a neighborhood, you can walk through a house, you can customize your home virtually, essentially in, in real time, like it's happening before you ever build it. The technology is absolutely bananas. Let's take a look at the, uh, at the bathroom real quick. You know, standard, what you would see in any house. You have the shower, concrete floors, vanity, toilet bowl. It is what everybody wants and it is, is all up to your imagination. So as crazy as you want to go, whatever you can dream up, they can essentially print for you. So you just went inside the first legally permitted 3D printed house in the country. How do you feel about it? What do you think about the technology? What do you think about the design? We'd love to hear your, uh, your thoughts. I love it. The, uh, the kitchen is huge. The living the living area, the living room, um, the bedrooms are a great size, and I, I just think it's a it's a beautiful home. I am so impressed the fact that a robot made this, you know, and it's just is incredible. What do you think of the price? I mean, you guys are from you guys are from Long Island, I assume. Yes, we're right here in Riverhead. You know so. how expensive everything is. Yes. yes. I mean, brand new house, two hundred ninety nine thousand dollars. What do you think? I think there's such a need for affordable housing, and it, it puts that great amount of uh, houses out there for young people. This is the future, you know, like if, you, if you've been, been looking around, everything everything is, is 
3D printed. The, the workforce is, is still there, but these machines are, are doing the work in half the time. So we're here with Larry Ruisi, who is a board member of SQ4D, his revolutionary technology. Larry, good to see you. Nice Thank you for having well. us, really appreciate it. In today's society, affordability and durability are two massive, massive issues. Right? Obviously, you see on the West Coast, the fires, there's floods, Puerto Rico, and then obviously affordability is huge. Long Island, as you know, you've been here for many years. Very expensive place, high taxes. Talk about how this plays in to solve those problems. Yeah. You know, if you think about it, uh, the only way I could say this is the construction industry has been asleep for about decades, for 50 years. Let's go, back, let's go back 50 years. 50 years ago, you had a telephone on the wall with a wire, then you had a wireless phone, then you had cell phone, now you have smartphones. Uh, 50 years ago, you had big TVs with tubes, black and white color, projection TVs, now you have smart TVs on the wall the size of my wallet, th the thinness of a wallet. The construction industry builds homes the exact same way they did back then. The world is screaming for affordable housing, as you said. We have labor shortages. The current technology requires a tremendous amount of labor, which is unsafe, which is costly. And the 3D printer allows us to build homes that are safer, stronger, faster, more uh, economic, uh, more eco-friendly, sustainable, at much less cost. This is this is real, and this is here to stay. It's yeah. incredible. It's the future. It's the now. I'm here inside the 3D printed house with Kirk, the director of operations for SQ4D. My man, always a pleasure, Hollywood handsome. Welcome. Thanks. The biggest questions people had was in regards to the MEP, so mechanical, electric, plumbing, insulation. Can you touch on how that comes together in this house? We'd love to. So these walls right now are about eight inches long, eight inches wide. We have an inch and a half bead, inch and a half bead, and there are voids in between with connection points. In those voids, we can put your insulation, closed cell, open cell. We have conduit for your electrical, and your plumbing goes right in those walls as well. All your utilities are inside the walls. So this is all pre-planned. Everything, all the locations are set in the plans. We come in, we do our thing, and the trades follow. So, uh, a little bit earlier I touched on, you guys have a virtual reality setup that essentially allows people to walk through a neighborhood, walk through a house, and customize their particular design, basically in, in real life. It's awesome, it's awesome. From, from their living room, from your office, or wherever Exactly. Can you talk a little bit about that, about that technology, how it plays in? So, so the technology, our technology is awesome, but in addition to that is going to be the VR experience, an AR experience, where you can go in, put these goggles on, Put, where, put a wall where you want a wall, put, make a curved wall. The, the customization is endless, but when you, once you get in this world, you'll, you'll be in a living room that could be yours in a matter of months. So you, you step into this world, push the walls, paint the walls, get the, order some furniture from Raymore Flanagan, this is all going to be possible. <laughs> Whatever you want, a TV on this wall, it, it will be very bespoke. So Kirk, the sky's the limit. Tell me, what is the future of SQ4D in this technology? The future is to prove to the world that we can build houses with a 3D printer. We can use automation and, and reap the benefits of that to make job sites safer, to make houses more affordable, and to just to build houses that you'd be comfortable raising your family in. We're, we're going to scale up, optimize the machine, streamline the process so that this is a quick and easy process. A home should be built in less than 100 days. Let's get people living in these houses. Love it, dude. Congratulations, super <laughs> proud you, of you. Thank you for having Thanks me. Thanks for coming, man. All the best. Appreciate it.